This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment, educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. So you don't know, think and see them analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative of the market. So we can make bad trading decisions. I know by now, everybody in America is aware that Donald Trump is on trial in New York State for allegedly engaging in fraudulent activity over the last 10, 15 years or 20 years. But here's the thing. They make an allegation that ex-president Trump stole or gained a hundred million dollars through fraud. Now, I don't know whether he did it or didn't do it. I'm not in court. I'm not following the case that well where I'm going to be looking at the evidence. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is not because of Trump's guilt or innocence. The reason I'm bringing it up is this. They have resources to go after Donald Trump, who allegedly made a hundred million dollars through fraud. That is what they're alleging. But you got these bad actors, these hedge funds, these market makers who are making billions of dollars. They have billions of dollars, 65 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased. They have multiple violations in the billions of dollars, but there is never no resources to go after them. They found resources to go after Donald Trump, who they alleged stole a hundred million through fraud. Yet these big dogs, bigger than Donald Trump, are stealing billions, trillions of dollars from retail investors and pension funds through fraud, through fraud, just like they alleged Donald Trump is doing. But if Donald Trump's fraud only amount to a hundred million, shouldn't those resources be allocated against the people whose fraud is in the trillions of dollars? Just my opinion. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think our resources should go investigating somebody who stole a hundred million through fraud? Or should they go after the person who stole trillions of dollars through fraud? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.